The Garden Tomb is a short walk from the old city walls near the Damascus Gate and just around the corner is the tomb itself. City wall down there. That's Mount Moriah, the north end up there. And that's the skull over there. As you can see, the door into the tomb is quite small, but the tomb itself roomy, about 14 and a half feet by 10 and 7 and a half feet high, which is quite high considering that few men stood more than 6 feet tall. The entrance would be made intentionally small to deter grave robbers. To the front, we see the weeping chamber. The mourners would be women. And on the right, here, a low wall hewn from the rock divides the room. Below, a pillow has been cut out of the rock and beyond, an unfinished tomb, perhaps intended for Joseph of Arimathea's wife. There is a small window in the outer wall. If you look up here, you can see what appears to be a window in the tomb. We're not actually certain what it was for. It could have been for ventilation purposes. On the, other on the other hand, some Jewish tombs of that period had a thing called a nefesh, a Hebrew word that means soul hole. And the Jews believed that after the body had been in the tomb for three days, the spirit departed through that window. Now it's interesting because if you remember when Jesus raised Lazarus from the grave, he waited for four days before doing it. Do you remember? Now he waited probably for four days because had he done it earlier, people would have said the spirit was still in the body and he wasn't truly dead. So we believe that's why he waited. So it's interesting, isn't it? Now the other interesting um, feature of this window is it allows light to fall on that grave there where we believe the body of Jesus would have rested. And that would explain why John was able to bend over and look in and actually see to the tomb and see the linen cloth lying there because I feel if it was one of those other tombs he'd be looking into a black hole and would not have been able to see. So again it does fit the biblical picture. The tomb is certainly large enough for Peter and John to enter it and find two angels seated where Jesus' body had lain, one at the head and the other at the foot. Only the finished localis, the grave area, looks to have been used, and there is no sign that any other body was ever here. Covering the tomb that you can see in front of you, except that this right-hand side had collapsed, we think, due to earthquake damage, and at that time they strengthened it with these stone blocks. <clears throat> Now when you go into the tomb, don't think it's a, a natural cave that's been adapted as a tomb, it's not. It's been cut out of the rock, just as described in the Bible. And it's a large and impressive tomb, speaking of it being the tomb of a rich man like Joseph of Arimathea. A poor person couldn't afford a tomb of this kind. Now when it was in use as a tomb, the entrance was much lower than you see it at the moment. We think it was only about a meter high. So you'd have to bend down to look into it or to go into it. And as you probably know, it was sealed by a large rolling stone, wasn't it? Now we've never found that original stone, but it would have looked a little like that one behind you. Can you see that one there? That one's dated back to that period, so it gives you some idea of what it, what it looked like. There's no smell or sense of decay. If this had been Joseph of Arimathea's unfinished family tomb, it would almost certainly have looked like this. Jesus rose from the dead in three days, and his body did not decay. That the tomb was prepared in a hurry. Here are the chisel marks to show where the rock was hollowed out. But something is far more interesting. Someone has extended the localis. The burial chamber has been extended to make a body several inches taller than the person it was intended for. We know that if this is the tomb used to bury Jesus, 
The stonemason was in a hurry because all preparations had to be completed by the Sabbath. The tomb was originally designed for someone five feet eight inches tall, quite tall in ancient times. The localis has been hastily lengthened and the space is now something over six feet. It is believed that Jesus was around the same height as our cameraman, five feet eleven inches tall.